First, you'll want to open your favorite internet browser. I use Google Chrome. Next, you'll want to type in MW3SA and you want to click the first link. When the website's loaded, you want to find the lower blue download button called Normal. Click and download the program. When the download's finished, click and open the file. In order for the program to run, you'll first need to install two programs. The first program you need to install is Microsoft Visual C2010. The installer comes in the file you downloaded. I already have it installed, so I just simply click cancel. The second program you need to install is WinCap. Make sure you've installed both programs before continuing. Now drag MW3SA to the desktop and then you can close WinRAR. Double click the program to start it and click yes to any security prompts. Once the program is open you want to check your MW3SA is up to date. If it says success underneath firewall, there are no firewall problems and you can look down at the next part. Under the application part of the program, it will show you all the network adapters you have connected to your computer. You want to look for the one that says Ethernet on it. This is the cable connected to your computer to your internet router. Mine is number 2, so you'll, I type in number 2. Whatever one yours is, you'll want to type that in. You've now finished setting up Modern Warfare 3 server admin. You can now run Modern Warfare 3 and open the Steam browser in game. When you've got the Steam browser open in game, you want to type in the URL shown above. Then when you can see the web page, you know you've set up everything right and you can kick and ban players as long as you're host. 